Uh, please, just for the record, state your full name, job title. Oh, yes, I am Dr. Maria Majita Melendez Altieri, Mayor of the Municipality, Autonomous Municipality of Ponce, Puerto Rico. And let's talk a little bit about what, uh, where are we right now, five months after Hurricane Maria hit your island? Well, in the island, the island was completely devastated. This is the worst disaster that FEMA has declared in all American nations. The worst disaster they have said. And uh, just right now, the necessity is the power, the electricity system. The electricity system belongs uh, to the government. PREPA is the one who owns uh, the electricity system. And the governor is, uh, is going to present a project, uh, a bill, is going to present to privatize the degeneration, the generation of uh, electricity. It is important. But even though I have to be grateful and thankful to Congress, to the residence commissioner Jennifer Gonzalez, to the governor of Puerto Rico, to all the mayors who were the first responder for the first three weeks, we are we have a necessity just right now. In many, many cities, in my city, we are composed of 300 communities in my city. I have 95% of electricity in the urban area, but the rural area, I have more than 40 communities without electricity and power. So what we need just right now is that, uh, that FEMA and the electricity company and the government make sure that this electricity after five months have to be more rapidly to get to the people in the rural area and in the east, in the west, in the north, in the central part of the island. The U.S. Treasury had put some conditions to, to give Puerto Rico a special loan. Where are we right now in those negotiations? No, every, I know every, that on Monday there were some meetings well, with the legislators. Uh, the governor just came to, uh, uh, to D.C. here to, to explain the, uh, to the Treasury Department that it has to, the, the money has to go uh, to Puerto Rico as soon as possible because we have an economic, economic crisis uh, years ago. We have an oversight war just right now who is controlling the, the, the government in, in, in the fiscal plan. But it was right now, all the mayors, all the mayors of Puerto Rico have given documentation to FEMA about the community disaster loan. This is a loan that uh, you know, is about $5 million that we can ask for. And after five years, you can pay that uh, loan. So it cannot stop because we, the municipality, we use our budget for the necessity of the people. But we, have, uh, we, we, we were not expecting uh, Irma nor Maria, those hurricanes. So our budget is going slow and low and low because we have, uh, we, we have uh, many money to give uh, in necessities to the people. So Even though FEMA and the Corp Army Corp of Engineers is helping Puerto Rico. So how would you repay the loan? After five years, you can repay the loan. That you move the economy. I have been moving the economy in my in my city since uh, a month after the hurricane. I, we are receiving uh, cruise ships. Uh, we all stores are open. Uh, we are receiving tourism. Uh, the people from Puerto Rico, for example, the people from Puerto Rico visit Ponce from Thursday uh, to Sunday in, uh, in 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 an area we call La Guancha. It's a it's a cultural area near the sea because we live, we are in the coast. Puerto Rico is around the border. Well, the south of Puerto Rico, Ponce, is in, in the border of the coast. So uh, you, can, you can see that people come uh, uh, before Maria. 2,000 people visiting Puerto, uh, Ponce from Thursday to Sunday. Now we are receiving more than uh, 12,000 uh, 12, people uh, during those weekends, every weekend after Maria, because we have electricity, because we have uh, moving the economy, and we keep doing business also. There are some reports that the suicide rate um, has gone up after the hurricane. Do you have that kind of data? But we don't, I, I don't have just right now the data, uh, but uh, I can say you that we have received help from the School of Medicine of Ponce, Medicine School of Ponce, uh, groups of, of 
uh, medical doctors, psychiatrists, and psychologists who came to help us. The government has special programs designed for the health of people, and private also programs that are for the for that kind of social problem, the suicide. So. The, the also the the bank all the loans that people has in bank all the all everything you have to pay uh, was uh, in a way uh, giving uh, an extension for three to four months because there was no economy moving by that time in many cities so uh, people I know uh, they were worried because they don't have what to eat by the time after one two to three weeks after the hurricane now people are eating, now people are having expectations, but by that time it was awful at the beginning. Just right now, they stopped. Are the we have been taking care of them. Are the authorities in Puerto Rico ready for the next hurricane season? When we're working, and, uh, and we're working, and, and I will recommend uh, some, uh, to my uh, fellow mayors that they should meet uh, during this month, March, April, May, uh, meeting with their staff and making plannings for the hurricane season that begins on June the 1st. We're doing it. Thank you very much, Mayor of uh, Ponce, Maria Melendez. It's a pleasure and I want to be grateful to all the people of Latin America, to all the people, all the communities of Puerto Rico, all the Congress, all FEMA, Army of Congress Engineer, and all the communities from the state who have helped Puerto Rico. Thank you.